All right, I'm recording. Boy, are you Should ready? <laughs> are you ready for the greatest Germany gameplay that you've ever seen? We're only in 1989. <laughs> We're going to lose. Oh well. Uh, there we go. Just to keep going, somehow, maybe. I mean, we're not in that bad of a position, to be fair. Like, a lot of our uh, negative maybe. modifiers are not going down. Like, they're already low, but they're not going down, which is good. It's, it's when the Eastern Bloc star starts dismantling itself fully, is when things just... It's when shit goes bad, okay. Yeah. yeah. Ah, well, I mean, uh... It's only... It's only what? The entire world crumbling, crumbling around us. <laughs> uh, how, how is our Western integration going? Oh my god. Uh, wait. Okay, see, I haven't gone in this game since the last time we played, like two weeks ago, so I do not know where yeah, anything is anymore. It's pretty understandable. Let's help the terrorists, or wait, no, we can't no. because our diplomacy is... <laughs> yeah. Wait, I like how go to active trade phase, we have not established a trade. It's like, wait, you, to trade, you must not trade. <laughs> uh, what I meant is click on NATO, as in... Oh yeah, the whole, the whole of fucking NATO. Yeah, that. Uh, we aren't a member of the Warsaw Pact. That's literally the only thing that's required of us. Are we going to integrate or are we... <laughs> uh, we might as well! I don't know. Was, like, I, th I think that if we do that, we basically survive. Uh, in yeah, default. Like, by default. I hope. Anyway, the year is going to end soon. And that brings bad things? That brings the new phase of escalation of the Soviet Union deciding to fuck itself even more. The Berlin Wall. The opening of the borders along with the increased desire of our people to leave the GDR led to the fact that more and more people are demanding the opening of an exit abroad, especially to the FRG. Didn't we already open like all the borders? Uh, at the uh, Paid. <laughs> paid, yeah, of course. I think uh, you one. You must pay the state. It's th this is the perfect ANCAP paradise. Uh, the state has paid for your education. Thus, if you leave, you must pay the state. Uh, at the upcoming press conference, which will be broadcast across the country, we can no longer avoid this issue. Should we open the western border? Maybe we should tell the people what they want to hear, but not keep our brother. That's always the big brain in... Uh... Oh, God. Also, you need How? to do something with the Berlin Wall. Oh, Jesus. Okay, uh, so we promised to open it immediately, but with the demolition of the wall, we will wait. Promise to open in the near future. Demolish this wall and get a free exit. Do not give exit. I'm guessing that's gonna give us a bunch of nostalgia, which... Uh, it's way too high. Should we wait with the wall demolition, maybe? Of course. Um, that seems... Th oh, yeah, we need to build the... <clears throat> We need to build a building to the Crystal Nostalgia too. Yeah, we do. It's still going up by a little bit. Uh it went drop slightly. On the question of the British correspondent about when the new rules would come into force, Shabovsky answered immediately. Of course. Uh da da da. Blah 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 blah. Uh Okay. Oh shit. Wait, wait, so they, they just They they just <laughs> demolished it. <laughs> fucking rip fucking rip the Berlin Wall. Ah, uh, that's that's not it could have been worse, you know. Only four five for five nostalgia. I don't know. Good, yeah. Oh no! <laughs> no the, wait, wait. That's the, the empty slot. <laughs> Does it decrease? Does it increase the west because it had stats? Does it increase our nostalgia income now? I think so, but it said 0 0.1. Wait, I'm not seeing you hovering over it. Hold on, I I'm doing something. You will not see it, but the viewers will. Fucking F for the Berlin Wall. 
I just pasted a whole big oh, F. 07. Right. <laughs> oh, 07, yeah. <laughs> Fucking oh, 07. Anyway, uh, yeah. See, like, a Rustel just plus 0 0.1 anyway. Okay, so it didn't do anything. But we're still, we're Let's still, see, maybe it's gonna update. No, it's plus 0 0.1. I guess, uh... Prashai Brezhnev! Oh no, it begins this one of the phases. The press attaché of the USSR Foreign Ministry, Gennady Gerasimov, said that the Soviet Union does not intend to interfere more in the internal affairs of other country. The Sinatra Doctrine. This means abandoning the Brezhnev Doctrine, which implied the preservation of Soviet influence in socialist countries with the use of any measures, including military operations. On the one hand, this gives us independence in our foreign and domestic policies. On the other, the USSR will no longer save us from serious mistakes and, well, that, that's helpful. Uh, and will not help us stay afloat in a critical situation which, given the expansion of Western influence, can be riskily. <laughs> if we support the rejection of the Brezhnev Doctrine, then this will cause a positive reaction from the West and the people will like it. On the other hand, we can speak about the positive aspects of the, West, the Brezhnev Doctrine calling on others, but this will lead to a backlash. Or we can agree with other countries on mutual protection, which will concern both the USSR and the US, but will help maintain stability in the socialist camp. Uh, okay. So I'm guessing sign small Brezhnev Doctrine is like, we make our own yeah. version? Yeah, it's, it's, it's very costly though. We don't have enough money, do we? Yeah. Also, technically. No, wait. If we hold on, if we have the thing that we can pick, we have enough money. No, because I remember yes. picking. I remember picking an option one time, which literally put me into minus thirty. And you died. Yeah. Well, that's not fun. I know. Be careful. The game is. Very picky about what it. What See, it like norm is. normally it tells you you don't have enough money, but uh... basically, yeah. Sometimes I... it doesn't. <laughs> Say we support the Sinatra doctrine. Yeah, we we don't support the Brezhnev doctrine. With the, with the path that we're doing, we don't yeah. have anything to. Besides, would this put us out of us? Oh, so Wait, what the hell? Oh yeah, that's the support of Moscow, I forgot, yeah. Yeah, and like, I think, like, supporting Brezhnev Doctrine would make the approval from the USSR go down, in this case. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, we need to be out of the Warsaw Pact anyway, I believe. Alright. So. We warmly supported the statement of the yeah, minister. see that Moscow likes us more. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Arguing that it was a great step towards the formation of an equal union between our countries and the rejection of the Vertical Authority in the Warsaw Pact and CMEA, which will contribute to the free and fair development of all countries according to their interests. Okay. Um, blah, 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 blah. A bunch of. Uh, yeah, we're I'm fucked, essentially. Also, I need to change okay. my uh, music. From uh, Afghan music to GDR music, <laughs> which I... <laughs> makes sense. This is this is a problem though because probably all of the GDR music will get uh, like you know yeah fucking flagged. Favorable exchange in Panama. <laughs> Do you remember Panama? <laughs> They're oh, back. Boy. <laughs> Panama Nasha. General Noriega has been detained by the representatives of the U.S. administration and transported to Florida where he must be brought before the court to answer the accusations of drug smuggling. <laughs> Why? Why? Oh, Jesus. Um, help of our special services, you'll receive little thanks in return of s in the form of his accounts in European banks. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? Um. Yeah, boy. Only if we have sufficiently developed networks of agents, and even in this case, the CIA will guess where the hands that have snatched Noriega will grow and will be very unhappy. However, money is needed by all. It must be noted that in this, in some circles of our party, especially among the military, there is an anonymous proposal to eliminate Noriega to make the whole world think the Americans killed him in terrible torture. <laughs> of course, neither Americans nor Noriega supporters will be happy and we will not get a penny, but the Americans will be forced 
to at least temporarily calm down and downplay their ambitions. Oh yeah, I think that that option decreases NATO aggression thingy. I mean, most likely, but it's not like we have that high of a NATO aggression. I wouldn't uh, mind getting money. Yeah, let's just let, let's do it. Unfortunately, our agents were unable to conduct the operations. Huck. Wait, really? Oh wow, we just got the worst never, ending, literally. I, I never had it fail on my end. <laughs> oh, you little piece of lucky shit. Okay, okay, we actually need... Pause, pause the game. We actually need to build uh. the building that decreases nostalgia now. Uh, oh, wrong. Um, economy... Nostalgia, minus 0 0.1, Defectory of Electronics! That's one stick of the See, maybe the army base? See, but this develops science. And standard of living, yes. Yeah, but that's only by one. It'll not even it out. What do you mean? It was zero plus 0 0.1 and now it does... Okay, it I can still build an army base, don't worry. No, I cannot build an no, army base. No, you can't. Uh, wait, can I get, like, loans or whatever? Don't. Wh why? Because it's all ruined. <laughs> you can't get loans. You can't cut the budget, though, which will just put the government in havoc. So let's not. Fuck. Um... And don't click anything here because it actually spends money to move them. Oh, really now? Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess... Plus... See, this is bullshit, though. It says plus 0 0.1, and I built no, a building which does minus 0 0.1. It's because it's only... <laughs> It's because it's paused. Anyway, we need to have it in the negative, so we are safe that it goes down every time. Yeah, well, I mean, game's a piece of shit. What can I say? Oh, oh, does it? Yeah, you mean. Down with the reform! Oh, Jesus. Uh, in the consequence of the deteriorating situation of the position of the socialist bloc, Romania decides to organize new trade agreements and secretly... Romania? <laughs> Romania! And enter into a secret alliance against liberal reforms. We can begin negotiations and join the alliance with Romania and involved other TCMEA countries. What? <laughs> Similarly, the... I've never seen this, mainly <laughs> probably because I'm the one who always leads this effort. Well, apparently, Romania is doing. Uh, <laughs> the conservative wing of the Politburo, intelligence and generals, say that this treaty will not be enough and offer to buy out nuclear weapon drawings from Romania. It will cost a lot of money. Fucking piece of shit. No, no, just no. I mean... See, if this had happened while we had money, I don't know. No, I don't think our money would have been enough. I think we need like 20-ish something. Jesus, how much money do you need to save up? Um, a lot. I mean, yeah, nukes are pretty valuable. Okay, we can't do anything. We should respond more gently to the statements of neighbors. Yeah, because we're dangest, I think. Um, and to like Romania, Czechoslovakia, Bulgaria, Albania. Um... Is this, like, basically the, like, bootleg block of... Wait, do you, <laughs> do you see Albania? It's got a... Yeah, it's I got a B. <laughs> Man, this is... <laughs> it's like that stupid meme where they do the B icon. <laughs> Albania. Jesus Christ. Man. Uh, can we click on them to check their stats? So, on know, Romania? Oh, no, it's, it's still in the still in the stuff for now. Yeah. Yeah. CMEA Wait, uh, Warsaw what's Pact. Our, what's our status, by the way? Yeah. CMEA Warsaw Pact and reformism. It's probably because we're reformist. Don't think that's the main problem, but nice. I, I can see why you think that. Yeah, because he's he's socialism. He's Stalin, bro. Tanky. Look, they're they're all these the yeah. look these guys are ta uh, actually wait. Was it Czechoslovakia, Albania? Wait, Albania! Albania. Oh, they got they got them into they basically <laughs> made Albania come and back to the, the to Bulgaria. Board. Yeah, so, obviously. Yeah. So it's basically it's all the tanky boys. Um, basically, I'm surprised Czechoslovakia is lasting as long. Yeah, Czechoslovakia is still tanky. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, can you hover over nostalgia to see if it's updated? Plus 0 0.2. Uh, 
Fucking Nazis. Nazis anymore. Yes, West Nostalgia! West West Nazis. Everyone who isn't a dengist is a Nazi. Have you ever <laughs> it's a bit like China, you know. Clip if you... that anyone who's watching this clip that quote from Woodstock. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I mean this this is basically for army base bad. Yeah, well how wasn't it eight money? Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, is it wait? So, economy. Um, army okay, base uh, is eight. Yeah. Okay. Man, all these electronics factory instead. Yeah, I mean the electronics factory is okay, brother. Uh, oh, oh shit! So many events randomly. What the hell is up in the sea? <laughs> Their struggle in Nicaragua, a bloody civil war has been raging on for 10 years between the government of the Sandinistas. I mean, yeah, yeah, well, should we give the money to the Sandinistas? No. Support the liberals? Are you serious? <laughs> Ignore. Oh, God. Ah, well, whatever. The Falco sells you too much. Um. Zhivkov's reply. Oh Jesus! Oh wait, it's the Nazi. <laughs> it's the Nazi like little poster. <laughs> the Cu oh, Cuban American Nazis. Uh, recently in Bulgaria, there was a coup attempt. Why do I know all these songs? Uh, the reformist <laughs> wing of the BCP tried to remove Zhivkov at the plenum, but. Having been prepared in advance for such a turn of events, the Bulgarian leader decisively defeated the opposition, called it an anti-party group, and began to clear the party of supporters of P Petar Mladenov. Uh, <laughs> they didn't do the meme uh, fucking Nazbol. Sure, the conservative leader made small concessions, which however did not go against his previous reform attempts. He allowed small businesses, you, in the service sector. Started creating SEZ to attract foreign investment. Oh, good. <laughs> good, good. And simplified <laughs> migration policy, allowing the people to leave the country clearly and permanently. Should we congratulate a friend on a success in continuous cooperation? Or is it be better to not incur the wrath of Moscow and Washington and condemn stagnation? Is it worth our time to make this choice if Zhivkov himself managed to cope with the situation? This feels like such a hard choice, to be honest, because I'm afraid if it just touches any of our stats or money or whatever... I don't think it's gonna... it's gonna touch our money. Because I believe that we are getting into the danger zone of nostalgia where we can just get a game over, which is 80 plus. It did not touch anything. It added nostalgia. Fucking Nazis. <laughs> <sighs> Little cunt. Um... I think it's party loyalty a lot as well, fuck, my party unity. Yeah, it's pretty high. It's going down because we're, you know, dangest XD. Uh, so we need to keep that in mind and this in mind, but... Yeah, actually, unity of the party is going down much faster than nostalgia is going up. But first we need to deal with the nostalgia, obviously. <laughs> right. How long did the DDR last IRL? Until like yeah, 1990, early 1990, I think. Let's see. <laughs> at, this, at this point, I just want the Wars of Pact to collapse so we can quickly integrate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we research stuff. Oh! There's also KILL HITLER! <laughs> as you remember, in our country there is such a people's enterprise as Robotron, which produces various electronic products. That's the greatest name. Several employees who have visited abroad countries, ne <laughs> abroad countries noticed that the game industry is very developed in the West, and they are now asking to help us create something like that. Given our latest achievements, the developers promise to create a game that will change the entire industry. The essence is passing the levels with a victory over the various bosses and the final they conceived is Hitler himself, who is offered to be killed in various ways. <laughs> we can we can we can we can to listen to the rest. Its development will cost us a pretty penny. Uh 
offer a German communist from the Telman International Brigade. Give developers freedom of action. Oh, geez. That does not sound like a good idea. Uh, I'm not sure if... Hmm. Well, we actually just... gain money. Oh, fuck. Look at the nostalgia. Oh, shit. That's, um... <laughs> it's because it's because they made fucking Klaus Stauffenberg the greatest person in the world. Oh, <laughs> shit. Okay, this is a prop. This is a problem. Uh, we, might, we might actually lose. We might actually lose. Is, is, wait, wait. Can we do something? Go to diplomacy. Whatever the fuck. What do you mean diplomacy? Oh, you know, I mean, I mean politics. Politics. What do you mean politics? <laughs> can we can we call elections? Speech? Anything? Um, Anything to, because because I feel like if we, if we take a single turn forward, we'll actually lose. Ooh, how can you call elections? Uh, it's stuff below. I'm not actually sure if it works. Every quarter on the first day. Um, what is this gonna do? I'm scared. This is the problem with this game. Let's, let's save. Let's save. Let's save before we do anything. Okay. I don't. And, I don't think that we'll that's build. gonna save us. Yeah, we'll uh, just save, build an army base, and see what happens. If we lose, we'll just load up and save and see if we can recover it somehow. All right. Uh... I should have built an army I told you to build an army base first before trying this. Uh, first, I'll fucking try it. Uh... So... Wait. Bring civil servants to the vote. Somehow I feel like we actually screwed ourselves over even more. I mean, hold on. Um, on the other hand, if other parties aggregate to receive a constitutional majority that is two thirds of all seats in parliament, then this will be a devastating defeat and we will have to compromise with the opposition. Um, we may not even get half the seats in our parliament. So maybe better to use state functionaries in order to force them to vote as needed, which will lead to popular discontent, but will increase the chances of victory. No, that's gonna increase nostalgia. You think so? Maybe it will decrease support of the people, I don't know. Yeah, All but support it... support of people is falling anyway, fuck. It might increase nostalgia too! Uh, sim try to use our special services to make falsification- Let's try to do the civil servants. I think it's gonna increase nostalgia too much and make us lose. It's not even letting me click it, though. What? Oh, okay. Uh, oh, okay. It did not decrease nostalgia. But okay. we won. We won, yeah. Um... Mm. It didn't do anything. Fuck, and it costs money instead. Let's oh, load. well, that's, that's actually... Let's load up the save. Okay, how does this work? Wait, did you... Did this, you just this... click on the save and accidentally save it again? <laughs> <laughs> I told you. <laughs> Why you? See, you this should, is. You should operate with this interface with a certain amount of skepticism. <laughs> <laughs> because this is. So wait, to, to load a save, I have to go back to the main menu. Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't expect that. I actually didn't expect that. I think we got. I think we're dead. Yes. There's riots. There's researchers are done. Unless something is gonna... The end of the Stasi! Oh, fuck. oh shit. Um... Gas is a dangerous thing in fire. <laughs> Do it! Yeah, see, um, is that gonna decrease nostalgia? What is gonna decrease nostalgia? The problem is we don't actually know because sometimes the hardcore options do actually decrease nostalgia. Uh... <laughs> well, we have the save right next to it, so we might as well. Oh my god. However, we can try to do less bloodless than sending the army with water cannons and support from the folks Polizei. Uh, we'll defend against the people in this situation. I mean, the support of the people is really high right now. Basically, yeah. 
So maybe like we can do something, you know. Well, just allow them to come in. Send in the army of water cannons. Gas is a dangerous thing. I think I was this. I was gone with gas, but I guess this is a new. See, we are the Stasi though, so we're gonna do the gas. Oh yeah, that decreased, oh, it decreased it. Result, and, 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 and it, it increased, increased support of the people. Because that's how it works. <laughs> Gas I them and they love you. Okay, so we're alive somehow. During the storming of the Stasi headquarters in Berlin, the entire Stasi staff officially left, left the building. That's spelling. After which the protesters broke into it, and then a fire and explosion occurred. According to the investigation, the cause of the explosion was a hole in the gas pipe caused by an aggressive attempt by protesters to vandalize state property. And the fire was the result of an attempt to burn the building itself. See? It with, <laughs> with the aim of inflicting irreparable damage to the state building. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, all right. All right. <laughs> it, was silly, it was silly to deal with the nostalgia because it's growing, but it's not the. This was a great success. 